Watson. We've made a complete check. Are these all that are missing? Yes, sir. Doyle, Masters, and Dillon. Get me the sheriff's office. Right away. Broadcast number 47. Be on the lookout for three escaped convicts. Description number one. Name Larry Doyle, bank robber. Age 28 years. Height 6 feet 2 inches. Weight 175 pounds. An American. Dark complexion. Description number two. Name Mike Masters. Habitual criminal. Age 30 years, height 5 feet 8 inches, weight 168 pounds, an American, dark complexion. Description number three, name Kelly Dillon. This man's known to be a killer. Age 38 years, height 5 feet 10 inches, weight 168 pounds, also an American, dark complexion. Escape from state penitentiary tonight. Still at large. Cars number 42, 35, and 29. Cars number 4, 2, 3, 5, and 2, 9. Go to the freight yard immediately. Three strange men reported seen there. They may be the convicts. Be careful, boys. These men are desperate. Car number 37, number 3, 7. Take your station along Foothill Boulevard. Car number 14, number 1, 4. Go to State Highway number 76, number 7, 6. Car number 18, Number one, eight, take station at Lincoln Bridge. Car number 41, number four, one, take station along State Highway number 210, number 210. Calling all cars. Stop and investigate all automobiles and buses. Keep bulletin number 119, 119, giving detailed description of escaped convicts before you at all times. These men may have obtained civilian clothes. Calling all sheriff's cars. Guard all outlying intersections, bridges, and all roads. Calling all sheriffs in outlying territory. Be on the lookout for the three convicts described in bulletin number 119. Number 119. These men are still at large. Sheriff Downey County. These men may be headed toward Pleasant Valley where the Sanderson Lodge is located. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. All right, Sergeant. Yeah, I'll get right on the job. What's the matter, Fred? The game off? I'm afraid so, Slivers. Oh, heck. Those three men that robbed your dad's bank just escaped from the penitentiary. Is Larry Doyle one of them? That's what they tell me. Who is this Larry Doyle, Slivers? What? Well, he's my best friend. He used to be daddy's cashier. Your best friend? Yeah. Parsons just told me he robbed your dad. Well, maybe he did. And maybe he didn't. He was convicted, wasn't he? But that don't make any difference. Listen, remember what you've always told me about Rangers never lie to each other? Yeah. Well, if I was a ranger, I'd tell you Larry Doyle was innocent. And I wouldn't be lying, see?
we take a little walk down the lake? That would be new and novel. Oh, don't be so bored, Sally. Snowflake. Yes. Bring me another drink. Yes, ma'am. Ralph and Sally don't seem to be hitting it off so well this evening. Well, they're always getting into some kind of an argument. Now, be reasonable, Sally. You can't drink like this every night. I can try. Well, I'm not going to let you. You're up here in the monster rest, not to go to pieces. Since when have you been giving me orders, Mr. Dexter? Well, after all, we're going to be married, you know. Yes, your father told me. I think you might at least try to be decent about it, Sally. Aren't you happy? Happy? Seriously. Oh, uh, Snowball! Yeah. Bring me a towel. Yes, sir. Do you really believe Sally is in love with you? Of course not. It's her father's idea. And do you know, in spite of everything Larry Doyle has done, that she still loves him? Got a very sweet line, Casanova. Oh, why are you so cold, Georgie Sally? This beautiful lake, moonlight, music. The very air is filled with romance. Hey, where's Sis? She went for a walk with uh, Ralph down the lake. Thanks. Hey, Sis! Larry's escaped! That's the truth. I just heard it at the ranger station. I haven't quite forgotten him, have you, Sally? Convicts aren't in my line. Sorry. Sis, you don't believe that Larry really did that. What else am I to believe? That's the only way to look at it. Why well, I think that... I'm not interested in what you think. Nice weather we're having, huh? What's the matter with you? I didn't do nothing. You went out in the open. Now get this. You do as I do, or else. You giving orders, Doyle? Yeah. I'm the only one that knows this country, and I'm running things. Is that so? Yeah, so we quit right now. You're getting kind of tough, ain't you? Well, skip it. Let me tell you something. Sanderson Lodge is right over that next ridge, and that's where Dexter is. Ten to one, he's got the money with him. Nah, I don't think so. He's probably got it in one of them, them safe deposit boxes. Yeah, that's what you would do. He happens to be a smart crook. He'd keep it up here in the hills, near the lodge, where people wouldn't look for it. Say, that money's hot. Serial numbers have been broadcast. Well, how do you know he's still got it with him? I don't know, but I will once I contact him. Yeah, just one contact. Yeah. Now listen, Fred, these men are desperate. Patrol Milk Creek Road and take no chances. Okay, Sergeant, we'll be right on the job. What are you doing early, Flivers? Oh, I thought I'd like to go along with you, Sarge. You might need some help. Better forget about it. You have no idea how a bullet will stunt your growth. Oh, what do you mean, forget about it? I want to get a look at them convicts. Well, come along, then. Swell. Now, listen, you guys lay here in these rocks. We've got to work fast. Stay here until I get back. Don't you think you ought to say please? It wouldn't sound so tough. You heard me. Stay here.
sure hope that boy scout stun of yours works. Keep your eye out for Doyle. He ought to be back by now. Right. Seen any strangers around here lately, Ned? No, but I'm ready for them. That man over the radio says they're worth a thousand dollars a piece, dead or alive. And well, you better be careful, Ned. These convicts are apt to carry modern firearms. <laughs> they don't hold the candle to old Betsy here. <laughs> <laughs> Critter. Maybe he's been trying some of that applejack of yours. Come on back here, you fool hound. Sure, there's no campers around here? Yep, the hunting season's over. The only strangers in the valley are over at the Henderson Lodge. I'm going to investigate that campfire. Slivers, you better stick around here with Ned. Well, if you, if you need any help, why, fire a couple shots and I'll come up and give you a hand. <laughs> Say, Ned, how's chance of me using your dog to hunt up that groundhog or whatever you're looking for? Yeah, I reckon so. But be careful, he ain't a striped one. <laughs> Say, would you mind holding my horse? Sure. I'll be back in a minute. <whistles> Come here, Pooch. Hip up. <whistles> here, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. <whistles> What's the matter, fella? Mary. Hello, Larry. Hello, Slivers. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Glad enough to help me? Sure, what can I do? Listen, is Dexter up at the lodge? What do you want with him? Never mind that. Is he up there? Well, yeah. Sally's there, too. How is she? Swell. You know, they're getting married. Stop your kidding. I'm not kidding, Larry. That's on the level. I'm going up there. Wait a minute. You can't. They'll catch you. Don't worry about him. He's just going up to investigate a campfire. I told them to be careful. Listen, Slivers, I gotta be going. You won't say anything about seeing me, will you? You know I won't, Larry. But listen, you remember that Morris cabin up there? Yeah. Well, there's nobody there now, and it'd make a swell hideout. That's a good idea. I'll see you later. Okay, Larry. I hope. Good luck. Put him up, convict. I tell you, I got him. Drop that gun, you fool. Don't you know a shot will bring every range in the valley down on us? Get up on us. You shouldn't.
something you ought to have done, man. What are we going to do with this mug? Well, we've got to finish him. He'll squawk. Take that uniform off, Ranger. We're changing clothes. What's the idea? Shut up. Come on, take it off. Oh, hello, Sally. How are you this morning? Snowflake, hurry up with my fishing tackle. Fishing? Well, you're not playing fishing today. I don't see why not. Sally, don't you realize there are three desperate criminals at large somewhere about here? Well, whatever I might think about Larry, I never think of him as being desperate. Well, I won't let you go. You seem more afraid of Larry than I am. Afraid? Why should I be afraid? Why ask me? Oh, now listen, Sally, be reasonable about this thing. Morning, Miss Anderson. Good morning. Mr. Dexter. Good morning. I think it'd be advisable for you and your guests to stay pretty close to the lodge until we've located these convicts. That's just what I was telling Miss Sanderson. Well, if you feel any safer here, you may stay, but I've got a date with the trout. I wish you'd see that we had some protection here, Ranger. It may be that those three men will attempt to revenge themselves upon me. You see, I, I was instrumental in sending them to the penitentiary. Say, hey, maybe that's the reason for heading this way. I'll stay here myself. Go ahead, boys. Take up the patrol and check back here with me every once in a while. Thanks very much. Well, I think I'll do a little fishing myself. Sorry to do that, but it's better than the bullet. Oh, you shouldn't ought to have done it. Well, here's his horse. Where do we go from here? I'll let him know where to find you. Thanks for the outfit. Come on, follow me. So this is the joint, eh? Hope we find something to eat. Say, I thought you said it was this place was empty. Hello, Larry. I've been waiting for you. I got everything all fixed. Who's that kid? The only human we can trust. Come on. It isn't safe for you here, Slivers. Go on down to the lodge. I'll be down in a little while. Come on. You shouldn't want to done that. How do you know he won't squeal? I'll be responsible for him. Come on, let's see if there's anything to eat. Morris family go back to town? They sure did. I think we found what we're looking for. Come yeah. on. You were so worried about certainly fixed us up all right, didn't he? Yeah. Hmm. Those beans sure hit the sponge. Now listen, when I get back here, I'll have Dexter with me. You mean when we get back? Don't be silly. Only one of us can go, and this uniform will get me by. What's the matter with me wearing a uniform? Because I've got it on. Oh, yeah? Sit down. It's a lucky thing you got that rod, Doyle. Oh, now, listen, you fellas got me wrong. Come on out of there with your hands up. It's the cops. Wait a minute. There's only one way for us to get out of this, and that's for you fellas to listen to me. Come on out, Archie. Hello, uh, Marshal.
I didn't expect to find a ranger here. We're looking for three escaped convicts. Well, so am I. I guess we just missed them. Well, perhaps they're not on the wrong trail. Well, the three, were, three of them were here, all right, but I guess they saw me coming and beat it. Spread out, men. See if you can pick up the trail. They can't be far away. Hey. Say, how long you been in this district? Oh, quite a spell. You weren't here a couple of months ago. No, I was on special duty. Hi, Sarge. What's going on here? Did you catch a convict? Hi, Slivers. I'm sure glad to see you. You're young Sanderson, ain't you? Yeah, that's me. Why? You know this man here? What's he doing, kidding me? Sure I know him. Me and Sarge are pals, ain't we, Sarge? You bet we are. Well, I reckon that settles it. But according to the description, you're a dead ringer for one of them cons. <laughs> Larry. Where'd you get that uniform? You didn't... No. He just loaned it to me. Oh. You go get my horse, and I'll tell you all about it on the way down to your dad's lodge. Okay, Sergeant. Hey, take it easy. All right, you two guys. You can come out now. Listen, fella. We're going to get out of here, and we're going with you. That's suicide for all of us. You two fellows are staying here. Oh, yeah? Here. Put those on your left leg. Uh, just because you're wearing a uniform, you're turning copper, eh? Put them on his left leg. That'll hold you a while. Oh, yeah? He shouldn't ought to have done this. Ah, shut up. You guys gonna get that money and beat it. Leave us here for the rap. Listen, I seen a file out in the kitchen. I'll get it. Wait a minute, you mug. Oh. Now, walk. Walk. You know, I'd sure like to have a stuff like this myself. How's it going? Almost true. Here, I'll take it a while. I'll keep this lit for you. Hey, Slivers, you go on up the lodge. I'll be up there pretty quick. But don't tell Dexter you saw me. I won't. Larry. Yeah? I'm afraid you're not going to find Sally like, well, you know, like she used to be. Ah, <laughs> oh, forget it. Aren't you glad to see me? No, why should I be? I'm sorry. I thought perhaps you might be. I didn't think you'd change. After all, it was Father's bank. Don't suppose it'd do me any good to say that I didn't do it. I was there when you were arrested. Oh, but Sally, I was tricked. Isn't that what crooks usually say? Oh, Larry, why go over all this again? Dexter got the money, I'm sure of it. I don't believe it. 
Mr. Dexter wouldn't do a thing like that. All but true. Dexter engineered the whole job. He not only got the money, but he framed me. Why, even double-crossed the two crooks he had working for him. Say, I'm going to get a confession out of him, even if I have to... Larry, you can't. Well, it's his life or mine. Oh, Larry. Believe me, I wish things could be as they once were for you and for me. But it's, it's impossible. Oh, it would have been so much kinder if you hadn't tried to see me again. Goodbye. Why, Ralph? Why, I apologize, Sally. I, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but... Oh, I understand. After all, what does it matter? But surely, Sally, you don't believe that I... Of course not. I think we should notify the authorities immediately that Doyle is masquerading as a ranger. He probably murdered the owner of that uniform. I can hardly believe that. But I tell you, the man must be mad, insane, a murderous maniac. Well, you heard him say that it was his life or mine. But you're being unreasonable, Sally. Doesn't the fact that he threatened my life mean anything to you? Certainly. But I don't want the man I'm going to marry to be the cause of his capture. I can appreciate your feelings, Sally. I'll say nothing about it to the police. But I do think we should get away from here as soon as possible. Why not? Let's go back to town. All right, fine. You can't go in there, Larry. There's a ranger in there looking for you. And besides, Dexter's not here. Well, where's his room? Upstairs, first door to the right. Why? I'll wait there for him. I want to search that place anyhow. But listen, Larry, don't go in... Sure enough, I'll play it if you'll sing it. All right, big boy, I'm raring to go. Living close to heaven, looking into heaven, happy, why shouldn't I be? Haven't got a dollar, I don't need a dollar, I get my happiness free. Building mansions up in the sky, rosy clouds go lazily by, I'm content to live each day. Living in sweet harmony, waiting for the springtime, for the merry ring time, to form my dove company. We won't wander castle in Spain, we'll have love in any domain. Dreaming in the daytime, planning for the maytime, I'm happy living in the sunshine. Larry, you're not going to steal that money. And this is some of the money stolen from the bank. I know the serial numbers. I'm sure he's got it hidden around here somewhere. Well, how is the fishing? Not so good. We uh, almost caught one, but uh, he got away. What do you mean? Well, um, I just saw Larry Doyle, one of those convicts, and uh, he was wearing a uniform of a sergeant of the Rangers. Are you sure it was Doyle? Absolutely. Where'd you see him? Down by the lake. Thanks. Just a minute. 
I'd uh, rather not have it known that I tipped you off. I wouldn't tell. Thanks. Somebody must have seen you come in here. Come on, beat it. They'll be searching the house in a minute. Don't move! Now I got you, you thousand dollar baby. Ha! <laughs> Put up your hand! Oh, you want to talk, huh? <laughs> oh. Nip! <laughs> Doggone, you get these handcuffs off. Why, Sergeant, it, 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 will I be horn swaggled? Hurry up, get these cuffs off. Oh, sure. How'd you get here? How do you think? Hurry up, get them off. Well, how am I going to get them all? Go down to my office and get a master key out of the desk. And hurry. Yeah, sure. Where's Doyle, kid? He went back to the cabin. The cops almost got him. Where's this Dexter guy? Upstairs in his room, I guess. Show me where it is, and don't try any funny business. Come on. Tell them all of anybody. Careful there. Show me where that room is. Take Come on, right. Mug. Come on, sister. Get down here with the mob. Get going. Oh, 
All of you, get together. Come on, come on. Where is he? I don't know. Come on, where is he? I don't know, honest I don't. Downstairs. Get your hand off that phone. All right, where's Dexter? Come on, we mean business. Where's Dexter? Don't you know, Sally? What does Sally know about it? Oh, they're going to be married, and I thought... Never mind what you think. Are you the Sally Dane that Larry Doyle has been raving about? What do you want? Man, are you? Yes. Well, he's been hurt. Bad. He's been asking for you. We took an awful chance to come down here to get you. Will you go to him? Yes, I'll go. Okay. Go with him. Hey. Oh, thanks. Not you, kid. I got something else for you to do. Wait a minute. I want you to go find Dexter. Tell him if he expects to marry your sister, he's got to be in that cabin within an hour. Got it? Yeah. Come on, man. Another thing. It won't do Miss Sanderson any good if any of you say anything about us being here. Come on. What I told those mugs inside goes for you, too, understand? Go on, scram. You'll be all right. It's only a crease. I'd like to believe you, Doyle. But Dexter don't look to me like the kind of a man that'd shoot a ranger. I know it sounds funny, but I saw him do it. He thought he was shooting at me. Well, it's only fair to warn you that I'll arrest you the minute I'm able. Your story sounds real, but I'm not the one to judge. I understand. I don't want you to think I'm ungrateful. I'm taking your gun with me. I hate to do this, but you'll be all right until someone finds you. You think of everything, don't you? I have to. One more thing. What I said about Dexter's straight. All I want is time enough to find that money and clear myself. Well, I hope you do, Doyle. But if we ever meet again, shoot first, or I will. So long, Ranger. So long, convict. What are you doing here? I've been looking all for you. They've taken Sally. Who? Those convicts. we got to get there right away. They got her at the Morris cabin. We'll get the police. We haven't got time for that. You've got to go. They got the fool. Those men are killers. I'm not going there. But listen. All right, Dexter. You're going to that cabin with me right now. Come on. You bet I did. Good. Get these off, will you? Hurry up. Get them off. I should have lost them. What? Oh, if I could just get a hold of that shotgun. Oh. <laughs> there they are. Hurry up. Get yeah. these cuffs off. Come on. There you are. <laughs> hey, where are you going with my gun? Hey, there. So you got that now, ain't you, sister? We ain't gonna hurt you. We just want you to stay around for a while. That's all. Hey, here he comes. All right, drop those rods. What's the 
the idea? Uh, just a little plan of our own, Doyle. We got brains, too. Come on, you're going back to the lodge. No, she ain't. She's staying. That'll bring Dexter here so we can talk to him. Don't be a fool. You'll never get Dexter up here. Don't you think so, Larry? You don't think we made a boner, do you? <laughs> Dexter, you go ahead. Don't step out of line, because I mean business. Those men, those men will kill me. From what Larry tells me about you and these guys, I think you'll be safe. Now, come on, get going. Well, come on. Hey, uh, Dylan. Are you in there? You coming out? Dexter. Oh, I'm sorry I got you into all this, Sally. As if we had a tether. We want dough. Well, here's ten grand. That's all I've got. Take it and call it quits. Hey, that's a lot of money to be carrying around in the hills. I was going to use it for my honeymoon. Miss Sanderson and I were leaving tonight. Oh. Still intend going? Well, if you don't stop me. Do you believe me if I told you you tried to shoot me in the back today? Why, Larry? Well, he thinks I'm dead right now. Couldn't get a hold of any more money, could you? Not until I get back to town. You ain't going to town, Dexter. You ain't going anywhere. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You wouldn't double cross a pal, would you? That's all the money the guy's got. What good would it do to bump him off? It's going to last us for a while, but I'm going to look you up later on for some more. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, all right, all right. right. Glad. Go in and tell that girl she can beat it. Go on. Come on, sister. You can go now. Come on. You shouldn't want to have done that. No, don't be a sap. The guy's on the spot. Doyle was right. He's got the rest of that money hidden around here somewhere, and he's going to lead us to it. Come on. Oh. Gee, Larry, I wish I knew when you were here. Dexter just left with Sally. Well, didn't Dylan and their master see him? Sure, they stood here and talked. And he'd give them a lot of money. $10,000. Oh, so he bought him off, eh? Well, he won't buy me. Wait for me. very courageous to face those convicts. Larry led me to believe that they would shoot you on sight. There's something very unpleasant I should tell you about him. Yes? He was killed this afternoon by an officer. Why? I, 
I'm awfully sorry to shock you, Sally. Does it mean so much to you? Yes, in a way. Well, I guess it's for the best. Now we can start right. You mean that? I said I'd go away with you, didn't I? Well, I can keep a promise. You won't regret it. I don't expect to. We'll take a long honeymoon. Europe, the Oregon, anywhere you like. That would cost a lot of money. <laughs> don't let that worry you. I've got plenty. Well, of all the boneheads I ever saw in my life, you're the limit. You pretty near shot my ear off. Well, gee, Sergeant, how was I to know? You look like a convict. You never knew anything. I'll take charge of this manhunt. Come on. You're not back yet. You stay here and watch. All right. Stop it, Slivers. Uh, let me get one poke at the guy. That's all I want. Yes, you can't. Please, please let me you. go. Please go. Hurry now. Oh, Sis, please. Will you go, Slivers? Ranger, here's one. Come on, Doyle, get going. Are you all right? Yeah, sure, I'm all right, honey. Thanks. Let's get outside and get some air. I wonder what livers are so excited Boy, about. Right. Come on, we gotta get to the lodge. No, no. No, no, Sally. Listen, we better get packed right away. The quicker we get away from here, the better. Packing isn't important. You've got to get the money. Money? Well, what money? I'm no child, Ralph. That hundred thousand dollars from the bank. We're going places, aren't we? That hundred thousand? Well, surely you don't believe that I... Oh, stop kidding. You're not fooling me. Listen, I want to get so far away from Larry and all this that I never want to think of it again. Yes. Is that on the level? Absolutely. Oh. Get going, convict. 
All right, Ranger. Where's Sally? Where's Dexter? Well, I don't know, Clever. I'm clean, Doyle. Where are your two pals? Well, here we are, Sally. You didn't know that I had a private little bank of my own out here, did you? Here we are, Sally. What is this, a double cross? You ought to know, you're an expert at it. I might have known no woman could be on the level. She can to the man she really loves. I'll take that money. Good work, Dylan. Came just in time. We've got the money and we'll make our getaway. Yeah. That's what you think. We'd better look into this, man. Fred, cut on Doyle and keep him here. Hey, wait a minute, sister. That cop, Puck. I'll die before they ever take me. You stand like where you are and don't move. Larry, did Sally go with Dexter? Well, yeah. Why? Well, that's what all that shooting's about. What's all the shooting for, Tracy? We've got those two convicts cornered up there in the rock. They're using the Sanderson girl as a shield. We've got to have more help. Take my horse and go down to the marshal's office and get some of the boys. I shouldn't ought to have done that. <laughs> oh, Larry, I had to make him think I cared. It was our only way of finding out where he'd hidden the money. I understand. There they are. Like Doyle was right. Uh huh. Oh. Hey, there's Sis. Come on. Well, here's another one. Well, I don't think they'll give us any more trouble now. Looks like a job for the car. We found the money. Are you all right? Sure. Thanks. Well, this proves your story, Doyle. And I'll be glad to testify for your pardon. My sister here with his convict? Come on. Stop. Mm -hmm. 